Hey everybody, I would like to formally introduce you to my new studio companion, Singer. Singer is a standard poodle, so it won't be, uh, I won't be able to hold him like this for very long, but I'm taking advantage of every chance I can get because he's so sweet and he's such a loving dog. And yes, he is named Singer and he's named Singer after John Singer Sargent. And, uh, He's, he's adjusted quite well to being the official art studio dog of Suzanne Barrett Justice Fine Art. And his brother, Teddy, joins us quite a bit and is with me um, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here at the art studio. So you'll get to see videos with uh, Teddy as well. And I will try not to bore you, like I obviously am boring Mr. Singer, because yeah, there's gonna be lots of puppy videos. You know that's gonna happen, right? You just know it's going to happen. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. And I am definitely very excited to introduce you to Singer and his brother, Teddy. And if you are here because you like to see art videos and tutorials and product reviews and all that good stuff, you came to the right place. But today's video is basically an introduction to Singer and his brother, Teddy. And uh, I appreciate you being here. If you are my subscribers, thank you. And if you're not, why not? Go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the to an average day. Although this this particular video will span the course of probably three days, and so you'll get to see Singer when it's just he and I here at the studio, plus when his brother's here, and you'll get to see all the chaos that abounds. But yeah, it'll all be fun. Oops, he says that tickled mom. So thanks for joining me, and let's go ahead and get jump in on this particular video of Singer the official studio dog. Well, Singer is adjusting quite nicely to... <laughs> Take two. Mr. Singer is adjusting nicely to his life as a studio dog. Yes, he is. He is been so chill. He is super cool. And people have been bringing him presents. He likes that. He's getting new toys and everything. So, yeah. Oh, and then he's trying to get my, you've got food stuck on your face. Oh, boy, Singer. Yeah, I was looking for it. It's hard to find this stuff. But he has been so, he's been doing great. He's potty training well, and he is meeting new people. He knows where his, you know, he knows he can go in his, into his little crate area and get snacks. I keep the door open because I just want him to be, I want him to be chill. I don't want him to feel like he's being caged, you know. I have a pee pad down just in case, but obviously he's not had any accidents there yet. Um, but you know, he's, he's doing really well with being, his peeing and pooping outside. So let's just hope we still have that lucky trend there, but he hasn't gotten quite figured out that he can't get right up on the camera for me all the time for his pictures. He's a good boy, but yeah, so far, good deal. Oh, well, maybe he's gonna, he's looking around. He hope he's finding other snacks that he left. <laughs> What a funny boy. You playing tug? Come on, singer. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's tough. He's a tough one, this guy. And... <laughs> Whoop! Oh, singer. No, oh, singer. Yay. What you got? Is that your holly berries? Is that your holly berries that Amanda brought you? Oh, good boy. <laughs> and he's pretty content playing with that. What a fun boy. He says, I'm just going to cheer this thing up, yo. When you're the studio dog and everybody brings you toys, well, you can't just play with one. You have to play with them all. So he's got all his toys laid out. And he's right now he's killing the, uh, the moose. Oh, now he's going for the hollies. Somebody, my, uh, one of my students and friends, Amanda, brought him holly berries. And he's got a bottle of wine. It's uh, something like Rough Week Chardonnay or Rough Day Chardonnay. That's what it says, because people who know me know. 
So he's gonna kill the kill the moose for a little while. But what a lucky dog. He's had lots of new visitors. The mailman came and brought him a treat. Amanda came and brought him a treat. People have been calling, sending sending uh, text messages and wishing Singer all the luck in being the new SBJ Fine Art Studio dog. Yes, he's a good boy. I should be on the other side so I could actually, whoop, there he comes. <laughs> checking the whole place out he's been checking it out and you know I still have these are my some of the cords that are phone and uh, iPad cords but I have this major cord all gaff taped down and he pretty much likes to stay right underfoot right there where I'm working because of course that's my easel and you can see that's where he likes to be is right wherever I am and that's okay. I like that. And I don't usually have to get any closer than this anyway. So I guess he'll be staying <laughs> right between my feet. Now he's got another bed that's right there. And he's got lots of toys. But I gotta say, he's doing a good job at being a studio dog. He's meeting new people today and doing great. Sometimes being a little puppy isn't just learning how to do tricks. Sometimes it's learning how to go up and down the stairs. And since he's not going to stay little for long, I have to teach him how to go up and down the stairs himself. Another thing that we have to do every morning is wear this boy out just a little bit. He needs exercise and lots of it. So I take him out to the backyard that's completely fenced in and just run this little guy out as much as I can. And he gets the zoomies and he just runs around and runs around and so many really new smells to, to take in and different things to taste and you know, all kinds of different sounds. It's all fun for them. You know, they just have to figure it all out. And so he's taking it all in and oftentimes he has his his brother will come over and they both will just run and run and play in the backyard and it's so awesome to see because you know he's having a great time he really is and uh yeah we want him to get worn out so he can be chill at the studio <laughs> and you know because he's going to have to be a really good little gentleman all the time there's it's never too early to start with just basic commands so We've been working on sit and, um, you know, and then we're also working on just leash training and all that good stuff. He's going to, he'll be a good little citizen before too long. And, uh, yeah, the other major thing he has to learn is to not jump on people. So we are working on a lot of different stuff all the time. And you wonder that if I absolutely ever get any painting done because I am so caught up with this little guy. He is so awesome, that little singer. That little singer, I just love his face. Sometimes getting used to leashes is a little different too, but it's time to potty. Go ahead, go to potties. Come on, get up here, get up here. Time to potty, go potty. Go potty. <laughs> no fun. So many different sounds he's got to get used to. He's got to get used to trucks. And he has to get used to leashes. And he has to get used to so many things we expect from a little guy. Come on, let's go potty. He's up to date on all his vaccines, so I'm not as worried about him being out here in public places yet. But I mean, even now I'm trying to limit that. Good boy. See, he's doing his pedals outside. Good boy. So much to learn, but you're doing so well. And walking on a leash, he actually naturally heals, uh, which is kind of funny. He's usually right on my side, but he's learning with a slip and he's doing so well. And he's approaching the studio 
even with the sound of this truck and it doesn't seem to be bothering too much and he knows that this is his <laughs> he's already knows that this is his art studio so he goes in good boy good boy can you sit can you sit sit good boy yes he's a good dog one of the things I have to do is get him used to his crate area. Now this is just really a, a pen, but this will be where I'm having a very large crate built that will be able to house two large standard poodles. So I want him to get familiar with this area and uh, so I do a lot of feeding in the crate. So he, I throw treats in there. Right here, this is what he'd rather do. And I'm gonna take advantage of it as much as I can because he won't stay little for long. He, his dad is 54 pounds, um, you know, standard poodles don't stay too little for too long, but he's so, he's so loving. He's so, so loving. And look, it was just the most adorable thing. And he just loves to be loved. So it's awesome. And since Singer and Teddy are both going to be in the studio all the time, they have to be good little citizens. And part of that is just getting to meet new people, whether it's your mailman or one of your students, or just perhaps a really good friend that comes over to say, hey, um, they have to get used to people and socialization is, is paramount. And it wears a puppy out. <laughs> boy. He's going pee pee's. What a good boy. Good dog. That's, let's see what else we can do. Come on. Let's get up here. Let's get poops. Let's get a poop on. Okay. He starts walking faster. It usually means something. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Good boy. Good dog. Good boy. We get excited about poops. Good dog. You can see housebreaking going well. And lots and lots of playtime because that's important too. <laughs> Gotta get to the studio, come on. He's here, he somebody hammering. Isn't he gorgeous though? Look at my boy, there he goes. Get your zoomies on. Get lots, of, he's like, you know what guys? It's raining really hard and I'm not digging this at all, he says. He holds his paws up because he hates getting them wet. <laughs> you little prissy pants. Where you going, singer? Going to the house, he says. Now, here is where Teddy comes in. Meet Singer's brother, Teddy. Now, my daughter just came in with her boy. Now, I keep Teddy for her while she's at work, just so he's not alone. He's too little to be alone for too long. And so he stays with, with us here at the studio with Singer and I. And they play. And they don't just play. They play hard. And it sounds sometimes so ferocious when they're playing. But I don't know. It's I think it's nice to be able to grow up with your brother and um and so we're working on getting uh teddy as socialized as well um and they'll play with their toys and just have a big old time but yes his brother is here and it's fun time begins <laughs> separately but at the same time. <laughs> I took the water bowl, emptied it out, and gave them each a bowl to eat from. You can't feed these guys together. And now <laughs> Teddy's eating all his food and he's trying to figure out what I can't get to my brothers because Singer doesn't eat as fast as, as his brother does. 
But so Singer can get all of his meal and not have to share it with his brother. We have to do it this way. Sorry, Ted. Sometimes it's not as easy with two. All right, Singer. Singer's just more interested in his leash. He's the one on the green. Teddy's on the blue. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what happens here. This is a this is gonna be a, an interesting experiment. We do have a lot of epic battles of tug of war and other uh, craziness going on all the time. dog isn't it guys it's so so hard you can see singer on the right and teddy on the left and after they played for a while they just kind of curl up and take a snooze wherever they're at you know what that's not a bad life right there folks so yes my studio is somewhat chaotic right now <laughs> with two standard poodle pups and pee pads <laughs> and dog crates but you know what it's gonna be okay isn't it singer huh i think singer seems pretty chill about the whole situation and he's not at all concerned and teddy well teddy's pretty chill about it too he's a good boy he's a good boy but yeah a little chaotic kind of a mess wouldn't have it any other way just have a big old pile of poodles right here. I love that you guys love each other. Brothers. <laughs> They're so fun. I guess I shouldn't have worn a black shirt today because you could see them better. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, they so sweet. Oh. <laughs> I could just do this all day long. Little kisses. Oh, thank you, Teddy. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, puppies. Puppies. And they love each other. They love each other. And they love everybody. They're so good. So good. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed getting to meet Singer and his brother, Teddy. <laughs> These two brothers are going to have the opportunity to grow up together, which is such a beautiful thing. And uh, seems like Mr. Uh, Mr. Teddy has hiccups <laughs> and they're good at giving puppy kisses. And they're such great dogs. And I hope you enjoyed watching them today. And I hope you look forward to seeing more of them as they will be the uh, official studio dogs around here. And uh, again, thanks so much for joining me. And if you are my subscribers, again, thanks so much. If you're not, please consider subscribing. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me some thumbs up. That means a lot as well. And know that you'll get to see more of Teddy and Singer in some upcoming videos. <laughs> They'll be here with me when I'm creating art and doing product reviews or whatever we get into. So again, thanks so much for being here. And until next time, from Kingsport, Tennessee, and Suzanne Barrett Justice Fine Art Studio, see ya, bye.